Now and happening today, the White House now confirms Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has been invited to Washington today to, quote, underscore the United States' steadfast commitment to supporting Ukraine. And Zelensky is expected to arrive later this afternoon for planned visits to the White House and Capitol Hill. CBS 4's Jared Hill has more. For his first foreign trip since Russia's invasion nearly 10 months ago, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is visiting Washington to meet with President Biden and deliver an address to Congress. This is very significant. Former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine William Taylor says the world will be watching. He needs the support from us. He needs it from the Europeans. Um, and he's going to be making that case uh, when he comes in. The trip comes as Congress is considering a massive spending bill this week, which includes $45 billion for Ukraine assistance. The days of endless cash and military materiel to Ukraine are numbered. With Republicans They're set numbered. to take control of the House in the new year, this is an opportunity for Zelensky to appeal to members of the GOP who've balked at more aid. Any Republican who's going to vote against uh, money for Ukraine will be, should be, and will be the subject of harsh criticism. They're fighting for freedom, and we should back them, whatever it costs. A senior administration official says President Biden is also set to announce a new $2 billion assistance package to Ukraine. That would include a Patriot missile defense battery. Before heading to the U.S., Zelensky visited the front lines in eastern Ukraine. Troops presented him with a Ukrainian flag, suggesting they'd like it delivered to American leaders. Jared Hill. CBS News, New York.